Hello and welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll have a look at how you can get started with your phone and customize it to your needs. First, let's take a look at the buttons on your X10 Mini. The home key takes you to the home screen of your phone and also toggles the applications panes. The back key traverses one step backwards from your current location. The menu key brings up additional menus in applications. On the top of the phone, you have the power key. Press it shortly to put the phone to sleep. To wake your phone up again, press the menu key once. To unlock the screen, press it again. If you press and hold the power key, you get three options. Silent mode for when you want the phone to be silent. Airplane mode for turning off all connectivity in the phone, including the ability to receive calls, connect to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. And lastly, you can turn off your phone by pressing power off. On the right hand side of the phone, you have the volume keys and a dedicated camera key. Now let's take a look at the applications panes. Drag the arrow at the bottom of the screen upwards or press the home key. This is where you'll find all your installed applications. To start an application, simply tap it. To return, press the home key. There are more applications than the ones you see on screen. Reach them by swiping on the screen. Now let's take a look at the four corners. Return to the home screen by pressing the home key. At the edges of your home screen, you have the applications you use the most. Of course, you can customize them for your needs. Press the menu key. Tap arrange icons. To replace an icon, press and hold on it and drop it on one of the edges. You can also arrange the icons within the applications panes for quick access. At the top of the applications panes, you have an indicator that shows you on which pane you are. Let's move one of our icons to the leftmost pane. Press and hold on an icon and drag it to the edge of the screen and back again. To keep going, repeat until you're happy. Drop the icon in place by letting go with your finger. When you are done, press the home key twice. Now it's time to set your own wallpaper on your phone. Press the menu key and select change wallpaper. You get to choose from pictures you have on your phone, including pictures taken with the camera or Sony Ericsson wallpapers. In this case, we'll choose Sony Ericsson wallpapers. Swipe to the left and pick a wallpaper. When done, tap set wallpaper. Now it's time to look at widgets. Widgets are small applications that run on your desktop. We're looking at one right now. The large clock is a widget, for example. To view the widgets, swipe on the screen. You can customize these as well. Press the menu key and select Arrange Widgets. Remove widgets by tapping the X. To add a new widget, tap Add Widget and select one from the list. To rearrange the widgets, press and hold on one and move it to the left or the right and let go. You can add up to 20 widgets. When done, press the Home key. Now it's time to take a look at the notification system. At the top of your screen, you have the status bar. This area informs you about new events. It seems that we've received an email. Let's take a look. Pull the status bar downwards to view your new events. If we want to check our email, simply tap on the event. One of the nicest things about the Android system is that you can work with more than one thing at a time. In other words, multitask. Press and hold the home key. You are now presented with the six most recently used applications and can switch between them by tapping an icon. This menu can be reached wherever you are in your phone. Just press and hold the home key at any time. Thank you for taking the time to view this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the Xperia X10 Mini Support Zone, where you can improve your user experience. 